Hi everybody, welcome to the Origami of the Day calendar video that I'm doing for Friday, May 8th. Uh, today's model in the calendar is a butterfly napkin. So it's really, a, it's a napkin fold, not a typical piece of origami paper fold. Uh, so it's a little bit more of a challenge for me to demonstrate this to you because a napkin is not as um, easy to handle as a nice piece of paper. So I'm going to give this a whirl and see if I can, I can show it to you uh, adequately. Uh, if, I, if I fail, I may end up demonstrating it on a piece of paper instead, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try here. And one of the challenges is you need to make sure you have a napkin um, that is a, is a square this one is, and it's going to cover everything up. <laughs> now you see me, now you don't. As a square, but also that's relatively stiff. Um, if it's been used too often um, and fabric softened and things like that, you may find that it's really difficult to get it to, to do what you want it to do. So keep our fingers crossed find yourself a napkin or just use a regular piece of origami paper if you just want to learn this and uh, we'll take it from there. One little side note here, I've taken pictures of this process as I went along and um, I've used paper clips to hold it together so that I could take the pictures <laughs> because normally I would be holding it where the paper clips were holding it so um, you can get a sense of of how it works but you know, you may want to use paper clips yourself to to get it um, to work the first time or so. But uh, the paper clips aren't normally a part of the process. I just had to use them. It was the only way I could really uh, position it to be able to take a picture of it. So uh, just so you know. All right. So the first thing you're going to do with your napkin, and I've already done this because it's really difficult for me to show this to you. Um, and do it at the same time uh, is to accordion pleat back and forth, pleat your pleat your napkin back and forth, back and forth until you go about halfway down the napkin. So you can see here, I've if you look at it on the end, I've accordioned it back and forth, back and forth, back and forth until about I'm about halfway down. And then what you're going to do. Um, you want to hold it not with the side where all the pleats are but you want to flip it around so that you are looking at the side that's flat not the side where all the pleats are so after you've folded it back and forth and back and forth you want to be holding it like this and then basically what you're going to do what you're going to be doing is folding down like this to the center like that um, next which I will be doing down on the table and you won't be able to see me doing that so again just imagine when next you see me I will have done this like that okay <laughs> this is going to be fun Okay, so after you folded it like that, it's going to basically look like this. And then you want to flip your piece around. It'll be, there'll be a little collar action there and it's going to be a triangle and it'll look like this. So you're going to flip your piece around in order to do the next part. And obviously you're going to be doing this down on the table. Um, which will make it a lot easier and and what we're doing in this case now is going to be folding this each corner piece back up in this direction and tucking it oops, underneath here so first the one side and then you'll do the other so again you're going to be holding your piece down on the table and it'll be flat and you're going to bring this up to this center and tuck it underneath 
and then bring the other side, same thing, up and tuck it underneath. Okay, so when you're done and you've tucked both pieces up underneath, it will look like this. The back side is going to be like that. And what you're going to do now is fold this piece in half on this line here. You're folding it down and in half. And again, I can't really show this to you without the whole thing falling apart because I'm holding it up in the air here. So, uh, <laughs> so here we are here, and you're going to be folding in half down like that next. Okay, so I've taken it now and I've folded that bit down like this. And then the next thing I'm going to do is to just take the top bit and fold it like this. So you're, you're folding it with a bit of a, of a line here. You see what I did? <laughs> Without it all falling apart. Goodness, this is really difficult for me to show you. Like this. Okay, so you folded it like this, right? And then the next thing you're going to be doing is folding one side over like that, and then the other side over, and tucking it <laughs> in there. So you're folding it over and tucking it in there, like that. And then you flip it over and you're actually holding it like this. Flip it over and if you let it open up you should get a cool butterfly effect. <laughs> like that for your napkin. Which really does look pretty neat. And the back side now is folded in like that. And also I guess it's a butterfly. It looks a little angel-like. I suppose you could use this as a fold at um, at Christmas time, holiday seasons. So that's pretty cool, though, right? For a napkin. I hope you could follow that one, because it was not easy to show. So that was our napkin for today, or our fold for today. Um, and uh, as I said, I hope you were able to follow along. The stiffer the napkin you have, the, the easier this is, will be for you to do. Um, and uh, good luck. <laughs> uh, have a good weekend. We, uh, we'll see you back here on, uh, on Monday. Bye. Hi everybody, welcome to the Origami of the Day calendar video that I'm doing for Friday, May... Uh, <laughs> May... Uh, <laughs>